Hi my family and welcome to another video. I haven't done this video, this kind of video in a long long time and I think it's time for that. So today I'm going to just put some makeup on and we are going to chit chat. If you're interested to see what I have to say and what I'm going to talk about then please keep on watching. Okay so you can hear my children in the background they are having fun so I'm sorry for that. But today I'm going to just to go and apply some my, going to apply some makeup and I'm going to talk. So first I'm going to use this eyeshadow primer Urban Decay and I'm going to tell you what it's happening in my life, what it's going on. I'm going to update you a little bit. I don't know if you're interested, but you if you are, then this video maybe is for you. I'm sorry, I did uh, zoom you in a little bit. My camera stopped working, so let's see if this is going to be better. So I work as a teacher and I do stand on my feet for many, many hours. And I had uh, some problem with, or I have problem with Alex Val Valgus. Alex Valgus, I'm going to put the name here, I don't know if I pronounce that right, I think that word is very hard for me, even in Swedish and my, in my own language I can't pronounce it, but I'm going to ins insert a picture here so you can see what that is. I had problem with that since I was a teenager and I had pain in my feet or in that part since I can remember as a teenager. And it wasn't a big problem before. Uh, it did hurt maybe once or twice a month, but it wasn't anything strange. Oh, often when I walked a lot and uh, when I moved around a lot, it started hurting. I'm going to use this uh, Onyx primer from Revolution, that black primer, I really like it. Uh, I reviewed this on my channel. I'm going to put the card up here if I don't forget, so you can watch that video if you're interested. Uh, but I do like this primer. So, where was I? Yes, I had problem with that for a long, long, for long. And, and I always had problem to buy shoes that are comfortable. So, the shoes is something I really spend my money on because I want them to be comfortable, to kind of stretch, to kind of fit perfectly. If they don't fit perfectly, then I'm in pain after walking for many many hours but when I started working as a teacher and I was like running around in the school all day going around I don't sit I just stand walk of course helping uh, my students these last two three years uh, I realized that I had more pain in my feet than I did before uh, let's see, for my foundation today, I'm going to actually use my favorite that I'm using right now when I'm at home. Where is it? I feel like I didn't prepare enough for this video. Uh, Revolution Powder Foundation. I've been really, really enjoying it. And I do like applying it with a brush, something like this. It gives me very nice coverage. You don't need to see right now. I'm going to apply it on one side so you can see. Where was it? Yes, the last two, three, were, three years... I had um, a lot of pain and um, I went to doctors and I got some medication for it, painkillers of course, uh, I uh, also I got insoles uh, for my shoes so that will help me so my feet won't hurt as much. And it kind of didn't work. Can you see? I just applied a little bit of that foundation on this side. So I'm going to go in my, with my concealer. I'm going to use Revolution Concealer, number six. And it didn't really help. So I went and bought creams and I bought everything you can imagine. The things you put between your toes, uh, the things you put around that what part of the foot. Uh, I'm going to insert some pictures here so you can see. I think I tried like everything. Uh, I tried almost everything. And I went to doctors, to doctors a lot because it kind of start, start bothering me 
very, very often. And it was so painful that I went home at night and cried. I couldn't sleep. I had to, t I had to take some painkillers to be able to sleep. Uh, and it wasn't really... I realized that it's not getting better, it's just getting worse. So my doctor told me that the only thing we have to do right now that we didn't try is operation to take them away. And I hate or thought that somebody's going to cut into my feet and re remove some remove parts on my feet and uh, I won't be able to move around, I won't be able to walk properly for weeks and uh, I first didn't like the thought of, of that. It scared me and I didn't want to do that so so he gave me some other painkillers and uh, I don't know so we could try but it didn't work. It came to this that I can't stand anymore how painful this is, how much it hurts. I don't know if you have any experience of that and if you have problems, but right now it hurts so much. It hurts every night that I almost cry myself to sleep sometimes. It's so painful. I feel like I can't, can't walk properly. Uh, I can't think when I'm at work. When you watch this video, I already had my operation for April the 2nd. Uh, I'm going to remove the right one and uh, I'm scared. I'm going to update you of course how it went and what's going on. So I'm pre-filming pre a lot because I won't be able to film for a while. I'll try to film with my phone and try to update you how it's going on but right now it's my beauty room all this part where I film, it's upstairs in my bedroom and in, I'm not going to be able to walk up to the second floor so I'm going to sleep in my living room, living room. For the first week I won't be able to walk at all. Uh, I'm going to walk as little as possible and then the second week I don't know how it's going to go, I don't know how long time it's going to take me, uh, I don't know anything so I'm kind of... Uh, yeah, I don't know what to expect. I'm using my cheek leader palette, Hula Caramel to contour, and then I'm going to use Hula Bronzer. So I don't know what to expect. I'm kind of scared. I'm very scared to do this operation, but I do need to do this because I can't stand it anymore. So this is Hula. So that is what is ha happening right now with my health. And let me know down below if you did this operation and how it worked for you. My, a lot of my friends did it, especially co-workers. And I have two or three other co-workers that are waiting for their operation. So it's very common thing to do here in Sweden. Many people have problems with this and I'm one of them, but I heard horror stories too. So I'm, I'm always afraid to go under the knife. They are only going to do local, local anesthetic. So I'm, and that scares me. Only local. I won't sleep. I'll see. I'm not going to see everything. I will be awake. And I'm scared of hearing them cutting. I'm scared of hearing everything that's happening. I'm scared of if it's going to smell. I don't like smell to smell blood or anything. I, I'm scared of being awake. But it, this, that is only how they are going to do and I have to kind of accept that. So that is, I'm very scared. That is what I'm scared about most, that I will be able to, uh, of course I'm not going to see my foot, I won't be able to see them cutting it, well, not cutting my foot, but I won't be able to see what they're doing. But I'm going to see the doctor, I'm going to hear everything. Uh, I don't know. I just, they were very nice, but I'm just scared and I don't know what to expect. But I'm positive. I'm very positive. I think it's going to go well. I'm just scared. It's just going to be six weeks, actually six weeks. I'm going to stay home for six weeks. I'm going to use the blushes. I'm going to mix them too. Uh, so I won't work for six weeks and um, 
it's going to be strange. I love my work. I'm going to miss my students. I, uh, it feels like we're a big family. But I need to do this. I can't stand it anymore. Of course, they're going to do one foot. So when I get better, I'm going to do to operate the second foot. And uh, then I'll know exactly what to expect. I know if that's more scary or less scary. I don't know. I'm just scared of doing this. Uh, but we'll see. It's probably going to go well. Um, yeah. So that is why what's happening with my health. Uh, let's see. I need my... I'm going to use this cookie highlighter. That's the best highlighter. This one. It's the best highlighter ever. Uh, I will buy this palette just for this. But I really like the Hula bronzer too. And the blushes are nice. So I don't know what to say. I'm just... Scared. I feel like I'm broken record right now. So what's happening on my channel? I don't know how I'm going to be able to film some uh, product reviews. Uh, of course, I'm going to do some videos in my living room with my phone because I don't want to stop filming. But I did already pre-film pre some videos. So you're going to see a couple of videos, makeup looks and reviews right now on my channel. But everything is pre-filmed because I needed to take care of myself. Uh, I got something in my eye. I don't know how it's going to heal, how long time it's going to take. So, yeah, I don't know nothing. I don't know what to expect. So I, I had to pre-film a couple of the videos. I also ordered so many products. I'm just sad that I'm not going to do maybe the video, going to do videos like I'm used to. But we'll see. Maybe going to my foot is going to heal a little bit faster. So I'll be able to, able to go upstairs to this room. I'm going to use the um, Natasha Denona palette and I'm going to use this color here. I'm going to go into this red shade here. Um, so on my channel there are going to be more like uh, vlog videos and I don't remember if I've done any vlog videos, maybe one, I don't remember. But it's going to be more vlogs. I'm maybe going to be more on Snapchat, on my Instagram. We'll see. I won't work for six weeks, like I said, and uh, I'm going to miss my job. I'm going to use this palette or the, that color in the center. center. Uh, but I don't know. It's probably going to go well. Uh, my feet are ugly. I hate my feet. And uh, this is just making it look worse. But it's not the reason why I do this operation. It's because I ha I'm in such a pain, uh, pain. I can't stand it anymore. And it's kind of taking control of my life. And I don't like feeling so vulnerable and uh, sad that I can't do anything about it. It doesn't matter what kind of shoes I wear. And I already, guys, tried everything, really tried, tried everything. doesn't matter what kind of products I use. I tried everything, trust me. Since I was 14, 50 years, 15 years, I'm going to use this yellow. And nothing worked. So probably the operation will work. This is how my foot looks right now. Um, of course, I'm going to do take pictures and show you before and after when everything is done and everything is healed. Uh, but yeah, I don't know. Sometimes you need to do things you never thought you're going to do. I'm not planning to travel this year the summer because of my feet I need I want to take some time off and just may let everything heal properly properly I'm very interested to see what kind of videos you want to see on my channel if you have anything you want to see please let me know down below I'm curious I'm going to use this brown down on the lower lash line And then I'm going to use this shade.
If you wonder anything, please leave a comment down below and I'll try to answer it one of my sun is coming on in one of my uh, videos soon. Uh, so I want to do more Q and A videos. I love watching those. Um, I find them very interesting. I know I don't know if I'm that interesting person that some that maybe people want to know more about. But if you're interested and you want to know learn more about me or know me better, then just leave a question down below. I'm try. I'm definitely going to bring back my sister on my channel sometime soon. If you have a suggestion what we can do together, me and my twin sister, on my channel, please let me know down below. I really want to do another video with her. I love filming with her, but it was so, so long ago. And I need, she needs to come back. Twin, my sister, you need to come back on my channel. I really miss you. I enjoy filming with you. We did a couple of videos together and I do want to film more with her. So I'm going to set everything with this revolution fix. I kind of, I do like it because it does leave my makeup on for a whole day. But the only thing is that it doesn't really make everything blend together and look less powdery. I uh, don't can't find my fix flex right now. But the, I'm not going anyway, so this will do. Uh, I feel like I had so much to say before I start filming. Right now, I lost the words. And then I'm going to use this lipstick that I got from my beautiful friend Valerie in a box swap. And this is Pepper from Bite. Really like this lipstick. Okay, so I already did my makeup. I can't do my makeup and talk at the same time, but I do want this to be get ready and chit chat video. So except the this thing on my feet, I do have problem with arthritis and uh, in my feet too, or on my feet, in my feet too, and it's very very painful. So this operation will probably make it more or less painful, but also let me kind of uh, be able to walk and train more and uh, just take care of my health a little bit better. I do need to lose some weight. I don't wait a lot. I'm not, I don't think I'm fat or anything and it's not that. But because I have arthritis, I can't go up anymore. I need to lose some weight and I don't think I'm going to do that while I'm home and uh, after the operation because I'm going to feel sorry for myself and I'm going to eat like an animal. I'm going to eat, eat, eat and lay down and I won't be able to walk. <laughs> so I'm going to, I'm going to put some weight on. I know I'm going to do that, but I hope when both of my feet are done and everything is healed and everything looks good, I'm definitely going to take care of my body a little bit more. And I, uh, Feel like I wasn't able to do that be because of my health issues but probably everything I right now I know that it's going to be better and I'm very positive and I think it's I think this foundation looks good on the camera but on my screen when I look at myself right now in my it looks very white and very light but it doesn't look light in person. I don't know. It's strange. I, I didn't have actually so much to say about what's going on in my life, but I just want to tell you, update you how my, what, I, what is going to happen these couple of weeks, that a couple of my videos that are coming up are already pre-filmed pre and some of them are going to be about my operation, how everything goes and everything uh, heals. But yeah, guys, I, uh, that was everything. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and support me. And thank you so much for watching and see you in my next video. I love you all. Bye.